Hi there, Robin here from Expert On, and today we're going to be covering this speaker, which is the ES210 MXBLU from Gemini. We're going to do a full unpack. We're going to see exactly what the 10-inch speakers look like. We're going to see how the mixer works. We're going to get all that plugged in and give it a little test drive. This package comes two ways. You can buy it with or without stands. We've got both of them available. So. First speaker. Second speaker. Slide the box out of the way. Bags, there's a dry pack inside. Now, this system here is 600 watts. It's a D-class power amp, that's peak power, and their RMS rating is 150 watts per channel. So that's really good. The important part is a D-class amp. So that really drives a lot of power to the speakers. Even though you might not think the wattage is that high, it's definitely gonna get us somewhere. Most of their other speakers are AB amps. So numbers are high, but the driving power is not as high. This is more like what we'd see on a commercial speaker. If you're looking for a system that you want to use in a small bar in the corner, or if you need for a backyard party, especially if you're going to use, let's say, a soccer game or football game, you need something for the sidelines, it's a great top speaker. So if music is just like a background thing, but you're really looking for talk out of a speaker system, this is definitely, definitely what you're looking for. Nice part is, handle on top, really, really portable, easy to carry around. This is the magic right here. Push the clip to the side, the back panel opens up. This happens to be the accessory package. I'll turn that around. So all the accessories are found inside this speaker. And we go behind this guy, do the same thing, and voila, there is our mixer and amplifier. Now, nice part is when you buy this, you don't really have to buy anything else. You're going to get the whole mixer, you're going to get the speakers, inside the accessory pack. You're going to be getting the cable, because there's a microphone, the XLR cable, power cord. They give you a basic microphone to go with it. Microphone instructions. Speaker cable, speaker cable, and our overall instruction manual. So, all right, so we'll take a minute, we're gonna plug this in, and we'll be all set. Okay, so what we've done here is we've unpacked everything, we've gotten everything ready to plug all together, and that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna take the power cord, we're gonna plug it into the side of the unit, because that's where we're gonna find the power plug, right here, just like that. We're not going to turn it on yet because we're going to plug everything else into it. On the side here is our speaker plugs and on the back of the speakers is where our speaker plug connections are going to be made. So we're going to take the cable, we're going to plug it in here, we're going to plug it in the back of the speaker, one speaker done. And we're going to come to the other side, we're going to plug the back of the speaker in, and then we're going to plug the other side in. There we go. So now our speakers are all connected. You're going to get probably about 16 to 20 feet of cable in the box is what we figured out. Then we want to plug in the microphone cable. So there is a mic included in the package, which is nice. It's always nice to get free things and there's one included. It's an XLR connection on the microphone. And because on the mixer, our mic inputs are XLR three pin and our regular line inputs. So that would be CD player or your laptop you can plug those in on the line and puts it that's what you need now remember if your microphone that you've gotten only has a quarter inch you're going to need to get a new cable or an adapter because we're really going to want to plug that microphone on top so we get full sensitivity out of it 
if we plug into a system like this where the line is indicated for the actual quarter inch, we're only going to get about a third of the gain out of it. So here we go, plug that in there. These systems are all set up with the first four channels, offering both the treble and the bass control and our effects control. The bottom one's going to be our gain control, so this way we can set up all four channels at the level we need them to be. And then when we're all ready, we just turn up the master volume, which is the last knob here. Now, if we look past that and we get to here where it says stereo input five and six, we've got again, two quarter inch jacks for our inputs and we've got RCAs to back them up. They have their own gain control off to the side and down here where it says stereo in seven and eight. That's our seven and eighth channel, the last two channels. Now that works off of our MP3 channels, which brings us back up to the top corner. Up here is where we're going to actually have our MP3 player, our USB with our SD card, your choice, and it even has Bluetooth built into it. So now we've actually plugged in our microphone, the speakers, everything's all plugged in. All our volume knobs and gains are all set to zero, so no worries for any pops or sounds like that. We're going to be able to turn that on. And now we've got power indicator here, and our display is lit up on the top as well. To get started, you just have to set all your bass and treble controls to zero, or sorry, 12 o'clock. And we're gonna bring up the effects as well, because we're gonna wanna try that out. We're gonna start off by bringing up our gain to 12 o'clock, which is five out of 10 on the dial. And all we're gonna do here is we're gonna turn up the main volume a bit. Now I brought it up to four, and I'm just gonna try that out, see where we're at. Now I can bring up the volume two ways. I can bring up the volume by bringing up the main volume, or I can use the individual gain. Now to get the most out of the system, you want to use the gain buttons as much as possible. So this way you get as little as possible of background noise being picked up from anything else. And that's why the last thing we do is turn up the main volume. And there we go. Now if I want to add effects to that, all I gotta do is turn the effects button now. And as I bring that up, we're gonna hear more and more effects come into play. Now I can control each one separately by using the actual effects button on this microphone. There we go. So that pretty much covers everything. Now remember we talked about the overall power being two times 150 RMS on a D-class amplifier. Again, that's where we're gonna get our power. And a great place for using this is when talking is the first thing and the music is the second part. It plays great for music, backyards, decks, uh, again, like I was saying, great spots are, you know, if I'm using it on the sidelines of a soccer field or a football field, or you need to call the place. That's another great place to have it. Uh, if you need something for a conference room or you need something to do in a warehouse and you just need to actually talk to everybody, bring a message across, maybe have a small office party, this is the type of stuff. It's always great to have. It packs all the way when you're done and you're ready to get used the next time. Well, I think that covers everything. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you like it, there you go. Thank you very much. Bye now.